there is very little coaching of the culture and you coach how to get results all the time what things what, what things make you know uh, make work more efficient uh, you know have very, very, uh, more value added products that happens on a constant basis you know from top to, to the bottom of the organization but very little time is spent on coaching culture it's almost assumed that individuals lower down in the organization already have alignment to the visions, the, the, the vision, the value, the mission of the organization. And spending more time on, on actually figuring out where those gaps are, I think, uh, w would be very beneficial. This kind of goes to kind of the the implicit nature versus the explicit nature of things. So we, when we develop uh, a mission, a vision, a purpose, or the culture of the organization, we're very explicit about how and what we want to do and how we're going to go about doing it. And then years pass, people come and they go, right? And we're sometimes, to your point, we're very specific about the business strategy, how we're expected to do over the next, you know, six months, twelve months, thirty-six months, um, and how we're performing. But we forget how we're supposed to go about doing what we're supposed to do. And so, does it come back to, to say, as senior leaders and even as board members, because tone at the top starts there as well? is that we need to remind and be more explicit about what it is we're trying to do and how we're going to go about doing it. And I'll give you an example. This was, you know, a, f a few months ago, but, um, you know, diversity in the technology industry was a little challenged. I as was going to say, such as it is. As it relates either to the board <laughs> or in, in the organization itself. And the Salesforce CEO came out and said, um, that's not acceptable. On a main stage, he came out and said, that's not acceptable. And as an organization, we're going to make this a priority. And if there are people within the organization who don't buy into that, then there's probably another place for you to go. Mm -hmm. That, to me, was a very explicit way of saying, a part of our culture, we're going to make an importance around diversity. And it's, we're going to ingrain it as a part of our culture. And I, the senior leader of the organization, I'm going to stand up here and tell everybody that. And if you don't like it, there are other places for you to go. That was a very explicit message. You still have to start with a direction, and that was a very clear direction. So one of the commissioners that I was speaking to in, in thinking about your comment, Melissa, around this ex implicit, explicit, was a comment that, you know, sometimes we think it's enough to say to our employee population and that kind of culture at the core, just do the right thing. And we assume that everybody knows what the right thing is, or everybody agrees about what the right thing is. And sometimes it's not enough to just say, do the right thing. Sometimes you have to tell people what you mean when you say that. 